name is Albert Killian. I have 30 years experience working with venomous reptiles. I live here in Florida and we're going to talk about the species of venomous snakes that are found here. Here in Florida there are two family groups of venomous snakes. One is known as the Crotidae, which are the pit vipers. The other is the Elapidae. In the Elapidae there is only a single genus of venomous snakes and that is the coral snake. The coral snake or the Elapidae family consists of the cobras, mambas, and crates. These are other snakes found in different parts of the world. The other family or group of snakes known as the Crotidae consists of the pit vipers. Pit vipers are dominant in the Americas. Now there are only five species of pit vipers living here in Florida. Three are rattlesnakes, which belong to the Crotalis family. The other two are the copperhead and the water moccasin, which belong to the genus of the Echistodron. Now these snakes have heat sensor pits located between their nostril and their eye. They will pick up thermal images of warm-blooded animals, enabling these snakes to strike at them. That's why they are called pit vipers. The first one we're going to talk about here in Florida is the copperhead. Copperheads are found in the northern part of the state of Florida. It's a very beautiful snake. I'm probably most fascinated with. Starting from the head, the copperhead has a elliptical eye pupil. That's a pupil that goes straight up and down. The copperhead's iris is a very coppery color with different kinds of veins running through it. It has one of the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen on a snake. When baby copperheads are born, they're born with a very bright green tail. This bright green tail enables these snakes to catch their prey very easily. What they'll actually do with this tail is they'll wiggle it. They'll hold it straight up in the air in a very tight coil. They'll actually wiggle it from side to side, looking like an inchworm. When most frogs or small mammals see this, that prey upon insects will try to attack the tail, enabling copperhead to grab himself a meal. The other colorations revolving around these types of snakes are earth tones. Starting from the back of the snake, he has an hourglass pattern running down the side. Now is at the top, getting wider towards the ventral scales. The copperhead is the least venomous of all of these snakes. There are five species of copperhead found in North America. The five species found in North America are the northern copperhead, the southern copperhead, the Osage copperhead, the Trans-Pecos copperhead, and the broad-banded copperhead. The one that's found in Florida is the southern copperhead. The vertical pupil of the copperhead will dilate under low light situations becoming round and black.
Copperheads and rattlesnakes live in large denning habitats. Human encroachment upon these habitats result in many snakes being found in residential areas. If people have snakes like this on their property, they should call a professional to have them removed. Years ago, I went to a person's house to remove some snakes she had found on her property. As a result of moving those snakes, within two weeks, I had removed over 250 copperheads.